So this one, it, it's quick, uh, but it just kind of moves a needle. And it's just, it's just like football, right? It's just a game of inches. And this, the, the same thing with adoption. The more people that we can get in to adopt crypto, the better off we are. And the more, especially public figures that we can get, like Elon Musk is a huge get. Michael Saylor, no one knew Michael Saylor before August. I mean, very few people, right? Now everybody in this community knows him. Everybody on CNBC and MSNBC knows him because he's always there. But, you know, it's not like that big thing. So Elon Musk comes along. He is in the public eye so much. Jim Cramer, he's on TV every single day uh, bashing that board and looks like he's about to have a stroke every day. Uh, but uh, he's saying, hey, you know what? I own some Bitcoin and uh, it's awesome. So what is he talking about? Well, this was in a Squawk Box interview. He says, I own Bitcoin. I've, I've owned it for some time. It's an alternative to cash position where you make absolutely nothing. So just like we talked about with yield, like I think, and remember, you have to think about the demographic, right? So who is Jim Cramer's demographic? Depends on, I mean, I've seen the, the, the ratings thing of that. Usually it's, it's like uh, 30, between 34 and up, up to, to the baby boomers. And who has the most money usually in America? The baby boomer generation. So if you got somebody like Jim Cramer and he's like, hey, you know what? Uh, I have gold. I do every, I talk about stocks all day long, but I also have Bitcoin. So don't listen to all these wackos over here who say it's awful. You can get it and it, I own it and it's uh, been good for me. So that's, again, that's all I care about, just moving the needle. He says, as a way to have a pastiche of things that you should use your cash with, I'm all for it. I think it's almost irresponsible not to include Bitcoin, to include Bitcoin. Uh, Kramer added saying he also views the cryptocurrency like gold as a store of value and protection against inflation. So again, I'm glad he says these things. I hope he keeps saying these things again and again and again, because just like in sales, you need to hear something uh, seven to 10 times before you actually buy into it or buy it. So these people are going to need to hear the same message over and over and over again. So that's it for that. Again, with the needle, let me know if this is like a good thing in the comment section.